personal attorney Michael Cohen. For the first time, the president now publicly criticizing the man who may be poised to cooperate with federal investigators. ABC's David Wright is in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey, near where the president is spending this weekend. David, good morning. Good morning, Dan. How would you feel if you found out that your lawyer had secretly taped you conducting some very sensitive personal business and that that tape was now in the hands of your adversaries? The president, not happy. Uh, we understand that the two men haven't talked in some time. Now their lawyers are sniping and the president is tweeting. Attorney Michael Cohen has long been one of the most loyal and trusted members of Trump's inner circle, the keeper of the president's secrets. I will do anything to protect Mr. Trump. But this weekend, for the first time ever, Trump signaled he's not at all pleased with Cohen after learning his longtime fixer secretly recorded him and that the recording is now in the hands of federal prosecutors. Inconceivable that the government would break into a lawyer's office, Trump tweeted Saturday. Even more inconceivable that a lawyer would tape a client totally unheard of and perhaps illegal. Just a few weeks ago, Trump took a much different view of Cohen. But I always liked Michael. Are you and he's a good person. The brief conversation recorded in the final days of the 2016 presidential campaign concerns a scheme to buy the silence of former Playboy playmate Karen McDougal, who claims to have had an affair with Trump back in 2006. Trump denies the affair. Cohen isn't the only former Trump associate facing a federal investigation. This 